Hello friends, you are watching Educere. Today's topic of discussion is role of social science in addressing national challenges. And the challenges are poverty and unemployment. So let's go inside the video. First of all, we have to know the term social science or the subject, what the uh, social science deals with. The term social science means the study of society in the context of human beings. It is a subject which studies human relationship from various viewpoints. Social science is the combination of history, civics, geography, economic, etc. Nextly, we have to know the national challenges. A country or country may have may face different types of national challenges. Uh, and like uh, India, uh, developing nations has also a large number of, number of uh, your national challenges. And some of them are poverty, unemployment, ethnic insurgency, terrorism, corruption, environmental pollution, overpopulation, etc. And here we are basically dealing with the poverty and unemployment as a national challenge. Now, how the subject social science addresses this to issue or the problems of poverty and unemployment. First of all, we have to know poverty. Poverty is the condition where people's basic needs for food, clothing and shelters are not being met. Now, role of social science in addressing this issue. The main role of social science in addressing poverty is to give a way to the individual or community to come out from the problems. Now, how the social science give a way to the people or the community to come out from the particular issue? First of all, by giving the concept of poverty, its causes and consequences to its learner. When a subject discuss about the particular problem, their causes, its causes and consequences, then people become aware about the problems. That's why it's largely affect the society and a large number of people of the society willing to do for that particular cause uh, in such a way the subject social science can address a issue by providing the concept to the common people. Number two, by discussing about the suggestive measures to poverty. When a topic is discussed under a subject, a detailed discussion is made. And when the uh, uh, your issue of poverty is discussed under social science, uh, uh, suggestive measures are also discussed. When the suggestive measures are discussed, a large number of, numbers of suggestive measures comes out from the discussion. And this leads to do. This leads to the formation of planning in future time for the uh, or uh, planning to eradicate or minimize the poverty problem from the society by the planners. Number three, through the provisions of quality education. It is also when we provide quality education, the quality education helps the people or the students or the learners to get absorbed in their future life uh, so that they can earn their livelihood. Number four, by acquainting people with economic security schemes and planning taken by the government. Uh, this is the responsibility, uh, responsibility not only of the social science but of every subject, basically of social science, science to provide the information to the neighbors or the, to the common people about the schemes and the government measures taken by uh, taken for their upliftment or to provide uh, eradicate or you can say the ma minimize the problems. So this is the responsibility of the social science to aware the people uh, or to uh, inform the people about the measures taken by the government for their uh, benefit. So in this way also the subject can address the issue. Now fifthly, the child's participation in community activities. Through the child's active participation in the community activities like uh, the awareness programs etc it has uh, the society or the community to, to address this problem number six by giving the true picture of the resources available surrounding them the subject social science provides the information or the data related to the resources available surrounding us when we get the actual data of the resources available surrounding us that leads to what that leads to judicious utilization of those resources. Otherwise, we will use those resources um, unjudiciously. 
and when we get the information about those resources or the availability of those resources we use those uh, resources very judiciously this leads to the minimization of the uh, wasting of those resources and ultimately this helps in the uh, directly or indirectly to eradicate or you can say the minimize the problem number seven by providing the data related to poverty and it is also the responsibility of the subject social science to provide the data related to poverty when uh, the people of the nations comes to know about the poverty rate or the number of persons or the num uh, percentage of the people under below poverty under poverty or above poverty that's least to uh, what uh, this list to do better uh, for the upliftment of the society and it uh, in such a way uh, the subject social science addresses the issue next issue is unemployment now unemployment is also a burning issue of every country not only the issue of india it is the issue of every country now how the subject addresses this issue the first of all we have to know unemployment unemployment is the situations of actively looking for employment but not being currently employed this is unemployment now role of social science in addressing the unemployment number one first of all by providing meaning causes and concerns similar as the poverty unemployment also when the subjects uh, provides the meaning causes and consequences of unemployment the people of the society or the community become aware they become aware and this leads to uh, do uh, for the betterment of themselves as well as for the child secondly by providing social support by providing social support uh, uh, it's um, when the subjects uh, creates an awareness or the provide uh, information sufficient information of unemployment in the society uh, ultimately society uh, can take uh, uh, supportive measures supportive measures the society can provide uh, support to those unemployed youths uh, and that is possible only when they get the information about the uh, uh, um, unemployment and this is possible by the subjects social science uh, number third by providing information regarding the perspective of uh, uh, perspectives uh, prospective sectors of economy it is also the responsibility of the subject social science to provide uh, uh, information regarding the prospective economic sectors. That means in future time, which sector of economics or the what sector of economics can absorb or will provide sufficient jobs to the unemployed youth. That is also the responsibility of the uh, social science to give a perspective or the, a view of the prospective economic sectors. Uh, the, it is a responsibility of the social science also to provide those information, prospective economic sector information, so that the students of the present time can go to that particular line of economic sector. Number four, number four is encouraging individuals to acquire vocational education. The subjects also, uh, uh, can, the subject can also, um, uh, your what you can say the. Uh, uh, encourage the people to acquire vocational education. Vocational education, defined as a vocational education, that uh, educations are there. Uh, by uh, encouraging those peop uh, people, uh, the subject can do its best uh, to minimize this problem issue. By providing, number five, providing I information of government schemes and programs. It is also the responsibility of the subject social science to provide information and the schemes taken by the government to uh, minimize or the eradicate the problems of unemployment. When the people get those informations, they can uh, absorb in that particular sectors. Uh, in that way, they can uh, get benefited from those particular schemes. Number six, uh, gives a, comp a comparative picture of standard of living of different regions. It is also uh, the responsibility of the social science or it social science provides those comparative pictures of standard of living of different regions when the people come to know the standard of living of different regions uh, when they come to know that their regions their regions are, are depriving or their regions are lower than the 
their living standard is lower than the uh, another li regions then what's happened the government uh, personnel of that particular region can take initiative to increase the standard of living this also uh, ultimately this uh, helps to eradicate the problem of unemployment number seven number seven raise the voice of pressure groups on the same that means in the issue of unemployment it is the uh, uh, role of the social science, the subject social science uh, can raise the issue in the society, to the society and ultimately the social groups uh, or the pressure groups can raise the voice. When the social groups raise their voice, the government uh, must or the government is uh, become responsible to, the, to do for the betterment of the issue, uh, for the betterment of that particular issue or for the eradications or you can say the minimize that particular issue so in such a way the subject social science can uh, uh, your address the issue of poverty and unemployment so thank you my dear friends for watching this video if you have not still subscribed my channel so please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest information of my further videos thank you